Tuluo Ulu launches Loma Academy. Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Sanwo Ulu has launched Loma Academy, the educational arm of Lagos Waste Management Authority, with the aim of promoting knowledge and awareness creation on effective waste management, especially among the younger generation of Lagosians. The governor, represented by his deputy, Dr. Obafemi Hamzat noted that effective waste management played a pivotal role in ensuring cleaner and livable environment, hence the need for policies and programs to promote sustainable environment, and boost LAWMR's capacity to perform its statutory duties. He said, as we all know, waste management plays an important role in ensuring a sustainable and healthy environment, which is why many nations and states expend huge resources on developing strategies to ensure clean environment through efficient, effective and sustainable waste management system. Lagos is certainly not different and that is one of the reasons why we are here today. Sanwo Ulu stated that it was gratifying for the state government to launch the Loma Academy, an initiative aimed at making Lagos a safer, cleaner place to live in, noting that only a safe environment. First Lady Ceremony, which is formal launching of the Loma Academy, the Community Marshal and Street Captains. You all agree with me that since the inception of the present administration, under the able leadership of Mr. Babajide Ulushola Sonwulu, he has left no one in doubt about his desire and intention to ensure that Lagos State has a cleaner and sustainable environment. The triple events that have been merged into a single occasion here today is a further affirmation of the resolve of the present administration to ensure that we not only have a longer life, but we live a healthier life all over Lagos State. Can we please put our hands together for the state government under the able leadership of Governor Sanwoli? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I would like to formally invite the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of LOMA, Mr. Ibrahim Odumboni, to please step forward and read his welcome address. That we are going to launch today is LOMA Street Cafe. What is your job? To be, to be candid, we want the LOMA Street Cafe and the Street Marshal to work hand in hand. What we want to do in our business is what we want to do proactive monitoring and evaluation and getting back to the first class. What we've done to support these two programs, if we have opened our call center, our contact center, to take feedback, our normal seat captains, their job mainly will be to ensure that they are supporting PSB, to ensure that most of the households are paying their way being on time. They are also ensuring that the clean environment is maintained, and they are reporting any infraction we we'll see on various seats. Our aim is to have at least one seat captain monitoring ten seats across the state. So by monitoring those tests, give them the time to give us feedback on what will happen across those seats and support the PSC to ensure that service are delivered timely. The combination of the normal academy, the normal community marshal, and the normal seat captain will ensure and guarantee the very much desired improvements that we desire for sustainability in the state waste management plan. At this junction, I wish to further appreciate your common passion and commitment of the Lagos State Government, the Mr. Governor and the Deputy Governor towards maintaining a healthier cleaner and fresher Lagos by approving normal programs such as this, normal academic, normal martial, normal campaign, and also as we have just we have recently completed our normal ambassadorship program. And, and, for, and so more to come. 
Now she said that's also close to the wife of Mr. Governor, Dr. Mrs. Cordelia, to be Dr. Sonu, who has support and have of the Loma program, especially the Loma Academy and the Loma Seat Master Program. It is indeed a beautiful thing to train the young ones on waste management. Now, so that the future that is sustainable, fresher, premier, healthier, which is assured in Lagos State. I also want to appreciate the wife of the Deputy Governor, the Honorable Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, the old and uh, the Minister uh, the PS Finance Deputy, OES from the of Environment, and other deputies present here. Also I want to appreciate all the all the sports sponsors that we have that come here to support us today, most of the Access Bank, the Via our partner, our technical partner, present here today. God bless you all. We beg that you let go. I do much of On behalf of the management and staff of Loma, I wish to once again say that you are all welcome, and may God be with you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Program in the state. Many years ago, our knowledge and technical know-how on waste management was limited to evacuation and disposal. Today, waste management has moved further to inculcating waste conversion through various processes on the waste management value chain. Just as waste to energy, waste to fertilizer, waste to electricity, among other recyclables. To be an institution to, for the transfer of technical know-how, an incubation center for waste management initiatives, for skill acquisition and exchange of ideas. In the end, the young ones will become an instrument of positive environmental change in our dear state. Ultimately, this will give us the multiplier effect on sustainable waste management for a better, cleaner, and more sustainable environment for all. The activities of Loma community marshals and street captains, on the other hand, are to complement these efforts in ensuring environmental sustenance. Until a year ago, we must therefore support the government in ensuring that this old habit does not even return at all. Hence, the urgent need for waste policy. The waste policy component of our waste management strategy will be enforced by community marshals and street captains by wading off reckless and wanton abuse of the environment. Our gathering here today is therefore another testimony of our resolve towards real progress in finding a lasting solution to the contemporary issue of waste management. This academy will avail us greater opportunities to share experiences and best practices and contribute a great deal to our government's effort to achieve great, great environmental feats. To also enable our young ones, primary school leavers, junior and secondary school pupils, and our institution students to learn about waste management and take back home the campaign for a sustainable environmental and studies. And uh, he was also happy to say that a number of his um, students are here. Then Professor Alok came and told us about the University of uh, Lagos. Greater Coquette! Greater Coquette! Greater! Like I said, they call the Carillas. He said, we are doing masters. We have moved up, we've scaled up. Also, Happy when he also presented his own students here too. And we have students that have done masters in environmental studies. Not only have they gone to the university, the same, they came, they saw, they conquered, they now went ahead to introduce things like this inside the inside Ministry of Environment. So you can see, the university passed to them. You are nice for greater Lagos. Thank you very much. Man. I wish to also raise government officials present here, representative of various social institutions competing here. We will still go by that. Oh, Professor Amor, we will still go by that ranking. Because you give the example yourself and you call yourself. So we will go with the tenth ranking that says Lassu. That says Lassu is the second best in this country. So we want that to be number one. I want to do our best. I want that to be the best in this country. And they will be. We are working the world that. So that's it. Uh, the presence of various institutions from the lab. Professor Alan Bujaradi of the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Economy. Thank you for coming.
Professor Lord Billy Mark, he's been constant in assessing the whole state government finish of the value and everything that's so we want to thank you very much. Always constant. And then of course, Dr. Olga of Lassu, thank you very much for doing a great job in Lassu. And uh, of course, the same environment university in UK that I will also be partnering with. Uh, the corporate sponsors who are here, Access Bank, thank you very much. The award recipients, our uh, children, the children ambassador from our academy, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. As we all know, this management plays an important role in ensuring a healthy and sustainable environment, which is why many nations, many states of the world expend huge resources on developing strategies to ensure a clean, environmentally efficient, effective, and sustainable waste management system. Lagos is certainly not different, and that's one of the reasons why we are here today. It is only a safe environment that is free of toxins and filth that can guarantee the good health of the citizens and that allow us, as a people, to operate at optimal level of our productivity. This is why it is gratifying that we are all gathered here today to launch the Global Academy, an initiative aimed at making Lagos a safer, cleaner place to live. Our dream, of course, as a government, is to make Lagos a 21st century economy and a very smart state. But we agree with you that this will be impossible if we do not take the issue of waste management seriously. And that's why. We have all commend the Ministry of Environment, Management and Staff of Roma for the good job that we've been doing to keep Lagos clean, healthy and habitable for all of us. But like they say, if we work for a good job, it's certainly more work. So we expect them to, to make sure, to be sure that we keep going at this rate. It is heartwarming to know that Loma has not just been doing a good job in managing our waste in Lagos, but they have been doing this with steady improvement. An example is the collection and disposal capacity, which were raised from 433 trees per day, made in May 2020, is now gone to 720 trees per day, which is what they are now currently doing. Let me repeat that. They are doing 439 trips per day, as of May in 2020. They are now doing 720 trips per day. That's for them. They've also come up with several innovations and shapes, part of which we are launching today. These are all intended to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of waste management in our state. Ladies and gentlemen, I must say that this initiative we are launching today, that is the Normal Academy, the normal community marshals and the street captains could not have come at a, very, at a better time than today. When we all know, we've received several warnings and the lacks unfolded in the coming days when the rain commences to. The Royal Commissioner for Environment had a press conference and gave us data and information to show that in Lagos we'll be receiving an enormous amount of rain as a matter of fact, things from a few days ago, Kanji Dam, so it's not just Lagos, Kanji Dam broke its barrier and there is flooding all over the place. Hmm. The truth is, Lagos is technically two meters below sea level, so when it rains, the water will stay all the time. Free of toxins and filth, could guarantee the good health of the citizens, improve productivity and enable them to operate at optimal level. He said, our dream of course as a government is to make Lagos a 21st century economy and a very smart state, but you will agree with me that this will be impossible, if we do not take the issue of waste management seriously and that's why we must all commend the Ministry of Environment, Management and Staff of Loma for the good job they have been doing to keep Lagos clean, healthy and habitable for all us. He commended Loma for its unrelenting efforts in keeping Lagos clean and for the initiative, the first of its kind in this part of the world. Added